Hello, this is Grace Solutions and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to desaturate an image in Photoshop. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, so the first thing you do, of course, you open your Photoshop and import the image you want to, okay, you wish to desaturate. Now, first of all, for those of you that don't know what desaturation is, it's um, simply a process whereby you remove the bright colors from an image in Photoshop, alright? And I'll be showing you three cool ways to get this done in Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to use a shortcut. And the shortcut is um, Control shift u alright? So on your keyboard, if you're using a Mac or um, if you're using a Windows, um, it's Control shift u If it's a Mac, it's Command shift u alright? So i just go right ahead and click, ensure that first of all that the layer is selected, okay? So ensure that first of all that your image, um, the layer you, the image you want to saturate is selected and is active. All right, and then you go to on, on your keyboard, you hit Control. On your keyboard, you hit Control Shift U. All right. Good. So as you can see, we have successfully desaturated our image. Okay. So this is the first method. Now, the second method is that we're going to go to our, um, yes, our menu bar here. Okay, right here, right? So you go to where you have your image, right here. You go to where you have your image, um, like this. And then you go to, um, sorry about that. You go to your image, and then you go to where you have adjustment, right? And then you go to where you have hue slash, uh, slash saturation. Okay, so I click that. And then as you can see, we have three options here. We have the um, hue. We have the saturation. Okay, we have the hue. We have the saturation. And we also have the lightness. Okay, so what we are going to do is that we're going to drag as, uh, first of all, as you can see, the saturation is set to zero, meaning it's, it's, it's in a, it's in a state of equilibrium it's equal all right the the picture um, saturation is balanced okay so what we're going to do is that we're we going to click i'm going to drag it all the way to zero okay so i'm going to take this slider right here i'm going to take this slider to all the way down to zero okay so i'm just going to drag it like this so as you can see the image has been completely desaturated okay but if as i take it back you see the saturation gradually comes back all right so the third method we are going to use in desaturating our image is um, using the fill or adjustment layer so we are going to create a new um, adjustment layer for our image okay so first of all i'm going to duplicate my image by holding the alt key and drag all right so i'm going to turn off the second layer all right, so I'm going to turn off the second layer like this. Then um, I'm going to create a new fill or adjustment layer. Now to do that, okay, I go all the way down to this very icon here where it says fill or adjustment layer. And then I click it and I go to all the way to saturation, hue and saturation, okay? I click that. Okay, so just like we um, did in the second step, okay? I'm going to adjust, but the difference is that this, this one works on a layer by layer um, structure okay so we're going to repeat the same process or a similar process like we did in the first case or the second step rather okay so i'm going to slide take my slider on the saturation layer all the way down to zero all right so when i'm done when i'm done i can just click um, outside or i can just hide the layer click outside all right now as you can see the the there is um, we're having an issue here and the issue is that now remember that we duplicated our image so we have two layers right here okay now the the layer option the um, hue and saturation layer that we just created okay it's affecting both the lay the original um, image and the duplicate copy okay but we only want um, the saturation effect or the desaturation effect to be on one of the layers okay so what we're going to do is that to ensure that the layer that we want to desaturate is active and then you okay you go to your saturation layer right click and you select create clipping mask okay 
create clipping marks okay so now what what this means is that we have we are only clipping the um the adjustment layer to our um first layer which is this okay so the saturation effect will not also affect the layer beneath that initial layer so if i turn it off okay if, if i turn this first layer off you see that our the duplicate copy is still saturated meaning the these fill and adjustment layer only affected the first layer which we clipped it to all right so take note so each time you're using the fill or adjustment layer you ensure that you always clip it to the layer you only want to be affected all right so this is how you desaturate an image in photoshop okay i've shown you three methods okay so i'm sure you had value from this video if you did please give this video a like share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more cool and amazing graphic design and internet tricks tips and tutorials so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe